All right, Jeff, thank you so much for that update. And if you don't want to take our meteorologist's word for it, maybe you'll want to hear from the National Hurricane Center. The National Hurricane Center really painting a descriptive picture of what's to come tonight. They're calling Laura a formidable hurricane that can sink entire communities. The National Hurricane Center also saying we could see storm surge heights of more than 15 feet. The last I looked, their latest prediction said some of the Gulf area, they could see up to 30 feet. The National Hurricane Center says the storm surge in some areas along the coast will be unsurvivable. Um, before we get Port Arthur, I'm wondering if we can pull up that Orange County um, live cam, if possible, um, about about 20 or 30 minutes ago, Jeff and I pulled up that cam and it was just gray skies. Um, there was no rain. Um, now we're st starting to see that rain uh, barrel on through the Orange County area. And these are really just um, the outer rings of Laura. This is just um, the outsides, not even Laura's full impact. Um, we do have um, a station worker who lives in Orange County. He sent a similar video. Um, it's similar to what you're seeing, uh, the, the um, wind, the rain, Rained. Um, it's really starting to come down in Orange County. So you're taking a live look um, high above I-10 in Orange County. So guys, a reminder that you do not want to travel west. If you plan on evacuating, um, excuse me, you do want to travel west. If you plan on evacuating, you don't want to travel east because you're going to be encountering very wet roadways like um, you see in Orange County. And as you travel into um, Louisiana, that rain is going to be a little bit um, worse. So um, let's go ahead and uh, visit with Port Arthur now. Um, strong words also coming from the uh, mayor of Port Arthur. Mayor Thurman Barty says, if you stay, may God be with you. He's urging people to get out of Port Arthur. He says, um, earlier today that about 200 or so people took advantage of the um, city sponsored transportation to get out of town. Uh, Mayor Barty also told one of our reporters that he drove around the city and he did see that for the most part people did evacuate. So he's encouraging if you're one of those last holdouts to please consider packing up your car and heading west. A reminder, no crews will be on the roads once winds reach 35 miles per hour. So um, there's going to be no ambulances to answer your call once those winds reach 35 miles per hour. They're going to have to wait until after that storm passes and it be deemed safe for them to respond to those emergency calls. That last bus left the Civic Center at noon, but guys, it is not too late to head west. Let's go ahead and check in with our 12 news studios right outside. You can see a slick go in Beaumont. Um, rain now on the roadways. Um, traffic is moving, so that is the good news there. Um, let's hope those people that are heading westbound that they're heading to um, higher and safer grounds. So um, that's a live look outside of our 12 new studios in Beaumont. So let's hear from Jefferson County leaders. What do they have to say? Jefferson County Judge Jeff Brannick says don't wait. Leave now if possible. And guys, time is really ticking. You're going to be cutting it really, really close if you want to get out of town. So um, best to act, act now if you do want to leave. The last bus left, left Westbrook for the Dallas area, so there's no longer any county-sponsored transportation to get out of town. But the good news here is that hotels are available in Austin, San Antonio, and even, we believe so, in the Dallas area. So, guys, it is not too late. Um, no crews, again, will be out once those winds hit 35 miles per hour. Now, if you do plan on packing up that car and heading out, you're going to want to want to remember to bring um, some food as well as some water for those in the car. You're going to want to bring any important documents such as um any type of uh, warranties you have or your mortgage. You're going to want to bring your identification, maybe a passport, that social security card. So remember those important documents as you pack up your car and plan to head west. Um, let's go ahead and um, check in with the top three things you need to know. So if you're joining us now here at 118, Number one, the National Hurricane Center says prepare for life-threatening impacts from Hurricane Laura. Number two, the final buses have left Southeast Texas ahead of the direct impact from Laura. And number three, Entergy says prepare for outages for weeks. Now, Southeast Texas, we know you're no stranger to those prolonged outages. Following Hurricane Harvey, there were some areas that, some of those rural areas that didn't get power back on until about maybe a month or even three weeks after 
after that initial hit from Hurricane Harvey. So Entergy is asking you to be patient with them. They do have crews staged in the nearby area, ready to act and ready to help restore those lights, get those lights back on as soon as is safe and is safe to do so. So Jeff, uh, let's head, let's send things over to meteorologist Jeff Gerber and Jeff, I think, um,